Hi, I'm Autumn Short, and this is Chit Chat with Autumn. Welcome to my show today. I have a great guest joining us. She is Texas Super Mrs. Laura Bradford. So please welcome Laura. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hi, Autumn. Great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on the show with me today. I'm so excited to talk with you because you have a very uh, important subject that we are going to talk about today, which happens to be your platform. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about your platform, what it is, and um, a little bit about it? I am an ambassador for Red Thumb Reminder, which is you paint your texting thumb red, and I've gone around Texas with red nail polish with sparkles, in case you're wondering. And it is to remind you, if you pick up your phone while driving, it's a little stop sign that says, stop, don't text and drive, it can wait. Just to remind you, you don't need that constant interaction. It's way too dangerous. Red thumb reminder. Is that, yes. that now did you come up with that or is that an organization that you are a part of? It is an organization. I wish I would have come up with it. I did not. And um, the organization I found through a friend who thought it was who knew how passionate I was about not texting and driving. And she said, You're gonna love these people. And I sent them a note and said I want to be part of it, and they said, great, whoever will carry our message, please get it out there. I love it. I think that is a wonderful idea, to paint the thumb red, because it is. Um, I can only imagine, I have a son, my son actually, just finished up with driver's ed, mm -hmm. and to paint his thumbnail red, his friends, I'm sure, would say, why is your thumbnail red? So what a great way to grab attention of other people and having, you know, explain to them why your thumb is painted red. Tell Absolutely. me, why are you so passionate about your platform? I think that it's, it's killing people. It is six times more dangerous than drinking and driving. And drinking and driving is illegal. There's tons of organizations that remind you how dangerous that is. And the problem is our children, as I look at the teenagers, I have four teenagers, I have Austin who is 16 and just started driving, and then I have triplets that are 15. And I asked them, I said, why are all the teenagers texting and driving? And they said, because their parents do. And so I have to reach everyone, and I, and I keep thinking, okay, I'm just going to reach the teenagers, and then leave the parents to be adults. And then I see the adults texting and weaving all over the road. I'm like, okay, I have to stop them because the teenagers have they've grown up in such a texting society. They don't even know how to talk on the phone anymore. They say, oh, I'm not going to call them. I'll just text them. So as they get into the cars now, they're so used to it. They don't know how to make a phone call. They're much, they'd much rather keep texting while they're driving. And their parents are doing it. So it's we lead by example. That is so true. I I will tell you, and oh, I don't even want to admit it, but mm -hmm. I am guilty of texting and driving. And now they have this great thing where you can actually talk, and it will do the text for you. And it's yes. so wonderful, except for the fact that you are still having to look down to mm -hmm. check your text. And so even though they've come up with the talk to text. It's still it's very dangerous. dangerous. It's much better if you just put your phone where you can't reach it and say, I'm not texting while I'm driving. There is nothing that can wait. If you look at your last text that you sent right now, is your phone near you? My phone, yeah, my phone is near me. Okay, whatever your last text is, you don't have to tell me, but you have to tell me now, is that text worth your life? No. No, it's not. More importantly, is it worth your beautiful daughter's what life that's sitting in the back seat? Absolutely not. Definitely. That is why I'm so passionate about this. That makes complete sense. When you put it into perspective like that, uh, you know, the last text I received says, okie dokie. And mm -hmm. there you go. It is not. That is not worth the life of either one of my children. Definitely not. And I've told my children, I never want to be that last text that they sent that says anything that says I'm on my way or 
I made it safely or any I, I don't want to be the last text they've ever sent so they are I'm incredibly adamant about this I never want to be someone's last text so let me ask you this because you had said it's illegal in how many states but it's not in force it's illegal in 37 states but unless you are caught directly where a police officer looks you in the eye and sees you doing this it's almost impossible to enforce so we have to teach there's no test like if you were pulled over for drunk driving here's an inhaler blow into it yes you were drinking there's not a test all you can say is no I wasn't texting and driving unless they have a reason to grab your to look at your phone for which they would need a search warrant there's nothing that they can do so the really the only way to stop the texting and driving the distracted driving is by educating people on how dangerous it is to text and drive absolutely okay so another thing that we've done as because um, my daughter Allison is also competing with me we have for those you said your son people would ask him about the red thumb not all boys want to do it so we have also the red band reminder that we've passed out to over 300 drivers and starting with the little kids we do a buckle up little bunny we read to children and we talk about buckling up and not texting and driving and we teach them to say mommy keep me safe if their mom starts to text and drive I absolutely love that. That is precious. That is it's been fun. Very precious. So you did say you and your daughter are competing in this pageant together. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that, because um, I I know that you guys have competed before as um, mother and daughters, because you yes. do have you have triplets, but the the two the girls yes, are the, the one that are competed. Sorry, boy and two girls. Okay. Uh, so two years ago, the girls and I came to America Super Pageant, and they competed against each other. And unfortunately, one had to win because there was only two teenagers in the category. So it was. I might. Have <laughs> I'm on a web show, honey. This is live. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He's great. You never know what's going to happen in a busy household of six. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is a big household. Okay, so, okay, so anyway, one got to win and one did not win. Right, Madison won. And then when we came back last year for her to give up her title, she had already decided pageantry wasn't for her. And so I talked to Allison and said, let her have her moment, giving up her crown, crowning her successor. This is her one and only pageant moment, she thinks. So we left it to her. And so this year, Allison and I are coming back together. I had said I wasn't going to compete with the girls again, because when I competed with them, it was actually quite amusing. Um, I was backstage trying to get one of them into their dress after they had changed from swimsuit when Janet hollered back and said, Laura Bradford, you're on stage in aerobic wear. So I ran out, sort of did a whoop, 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 hi, look at me, gotta go, bye, ran back off the stage, and then went and got them into their gowns. So it really was very, I said, okay, we won't do that again. So this year we have a makeup artist coming with us that will be assisting and see if that makes it where maybe I can, you know, stay on stage a little longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> I love it. That is great. But you know, as parents, we are, it's almost, we're more concerned about our children than we are about ourselves. And so you want to make sure that they're in their dress and that they're zipped up and that their hair is done right and, you know, and that they have their lip gloss on and you go out on stage forgetting, oh, I only have one earring and here I am. Hi. <laughs> Hi, here I am. No problem. Different shoes, wrong dress, doesn't matter. I'm Mrs. Texas, and here we go. <laughs> exactly. My daughter will be ready, and she's coming out after me, so really pay attention to her. <laughs> yes. And that was something in interview, actually, when we competed all the same. By the time I sat down in the chair, they had already met the girls. So a lot of it was about what the girls had said about our life, because we had lived in Malaysia for five years. And they were so interested in what the girls' perspective was, my interview was really a family interview, just continued on. So that was really fun for me. But how fun is it for you? I mean, this is such a bonding moment to compete with your daughter. Uh, I did this last year, and 
just the time that we were able to spend together to prepare for this together, it was so much fun. And memories, you know, mm -hmm. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It was really a great experience, I will say. I agree. This morning we were getting nannies and petties together and we've done all of our appearances together and so she's actually getting her hair done right now and I'm supposed to head over there to get mine done. <laughs> so it's, we've been able to get all this together and it's been great. You know, the boys, my boys are hunters and so that's what they do with dad and so this is sort of the girl thing that we can do together. I love it. Exactly. That's kind of how our household is. The boys will go and do something and then us mm -hmm. girls we yesterday Lexi and I went and got pedicures together so yeah. come pageant weekend it's so fun because us girls get to do a lot of fun things together exactly so tell us um, when and where you're competing the pageant system and uh, tell us just a little bit about that alright America's super pageant is this weekend Sunday the 22nd in Hamilton Montana it is a free event, so if you can make it to Hamilton, Montana, absolutely everyone is welcome. We're also being shown on the web, so if you go to americasuperpageant.com, there's a link there that will link you. Um, it's I have fallen in love with Montana, so this is our third year back, <laughs> and it's just such a gorgeous place to go. So if you've ever thought about competing, the reason we I picked this pageant as my girl's first pageant is Janet her whole mission is to make sure that no mother ever has the pain of losing a child because they're not buckled up. And I said, that is something I can relate to, I can understand, and I want to make sure that another mother doesn't go through that and supported. I just loved what Janet did. And I always I said, how can you do this? Doesn't this bring up your grief every time? And she said, no, this is cheaper than therapy and I want to save. And she genuinely wants to save other people. Yes, she does. She definitely does. Mm -hmm. So on a side note, I will be crowning the next America Super Misses on Sunday at the America <laughs> Super Pageant. So both Laura program. and I will be there. Yes, both <laughs> Laura and I will be there together. So definitely tune in. Uh, if they they will be able you will be able to see it. If you miss it live, you can always watch it at another time. But please do turn in to watch it. It's a wonderful pro program. It has an amazing platform. And um, I just want to say, Laura, thank you so much for being a guest with me on the show thank today. Thank you for having me. This was great. Thank you. Absolutely. And I look forward to meeting you this weekend. And I'm sure we will make many, many memories. So Absolutely. travel safe. Drive safe. Oh, yes. Up and put your phone in your purse. I'll have the nail polish waiting for you. <laughs> that sounds perfect. Well, thank you again for joining me today, and we will talk soon. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And make sure you tune in again for our next show.